Hi, welcome to Tuesdays with Tara. I'm Tara Abundance, and today we're going to do an EFT process around abundance and worth. The way we're going to start off is first just checking in with ourselves, seeing where we are on a scale of one to 10, one being the lowest possible feeling of energy or connection to abundance, 10 being the highest possible connection to abundance. If I'm feeling not very connected to my own abundance and self-worth and say abundance as my birthright or comfort around my personal self-worth, then I would put it towards the lower end, like two, three, four, maybe even a one. If I'm feeling somewhere pretty high, but kind of want to work on it a little bit, dive a little deeper. I put it in the six, seven, eight range. And today I happen to be somewhere kind of right in the middle. I'm around a five feeling into my abundance and financial prosperity and comfort and peace of mind. So I'm going to start off with a five. So check in with yourself, just take a deep breath and ask yourself, where am I feeling in my abundance and worth? And whatever number comes to your mind first is probably the right one. So just call it that number. And our goal is to get it to move up. So we're hoping to get that number up towards a 10. And so let's just start off by showing the the points that we're going to be tapping on first. We're going to do the chop point by saying our phrase three times while tapping on the chop point. And then we're going to go to the top of the head saying the phrase or any iteration of the phrase, the eyebrow point, side of the eye, under the eye, under the nose, under the bottom lip, collarbone, under the arm. Doesn't matter which side you use, you can switch off as you're going. If you need to, you can, you know, switch off with either hand. You can sometimes do it with both hands. Some people do it with both hands. Okay. So whatever's comfortable for you, at the very end, I like to sweep it up while I'm taking a deep breath in and just kind of tap in whatever phrase we are at, at that point. And then starting from there, continuing on. So let's come up with a phrase. Yours might be a little bit different from mine. What I'd like to focus on today is personal acceptance around abundance, worth, financial security, stability, prosperity, comfort around accepting that for myself. And so my phrase is going to sound something like, even though I sometimes struggle with financial abundance, prosperity, security, stability, comfort, and peace of mind, I still completely love and accept myself. Even though sometimes I struggle with my own worth and what I'm worth and that abundance is my birthright, I still completely love and accept myself. Even though I sometimes struggle with the concept of accepting full financial abundance, prosperity, comfort, peace of mind, and personal worth around abundance being my birthright, I'm still willing to completely love and accept myself. So starting at the top, acceptance of financial stability, security, and abundance. Even though sometimes I struggle with prosperity and abundance and having plenty, I completely love and accept and embrace and embody myself. Even though sometimes I struggle with my own worth around financial abundance, even though I sometimes struggle with remembering that abundance is my birthright, I still completely love and accept myself. Financial abundance, prosperity, stability, security, peace of mind, more than enough even though sometimes I struggle with those concepts from time to time, I still completely am willing to love and accept myself. Good. 
knowing financial stability, security, comfort, peace of mind is my birthright. And also knowing that sometimes I struggle with this concept. I am willing to completely love and accept myself. Even though sometimes I have difficulty accepting my full self-worth and worth around abundance and prosperity and financial comfort, peace of mind, I am still willing to completely love and accept myself. Even though sometimes I struggle with the idea of having more than enough, I am still willing to completely love and accept myself. So let's take a pause here. I don't know if you noticed, but I took a couple of deep breaths during that last flow of the tapping process. And what that tells me is that something is shifting in my field and my energy. So when I tap in again and really tune into where the number might be for me, it's definitely moved up from a five and it's somewhere around seven, seven and a half. I'd like to get it up a little higher so that I can kind of really feel into changing my brain pattern and my belief systems around financial abundance, security, stability, having more than enough. So let's just keep tapping. Even though sometimes I really struggle with having more than enough, I completely love and accept myself. Even though sometimes I think having more than enough means that others go without, I still completely love and accept myself. Even though there's something still in my belief system that says that I shouldn't have more than enough, I completely love and accept myself. Oh, that was a good shift. That was a good one. Even though I sometimes feel uncomfortable about accepting financial abundance and prosperity and security and stability, I still completely am willing to love and accept myself right where I am. Even though sometimes money feels daunting or out of reach. I completely love and accept myself. Even though sometimes I think that money isn't necessarily important or for me, I still am willing to completely love and accept myself. Even though there's a part of me that knows money is available for everyone and it's just energy, I sometimes struggle with the acceptance of it in my own life. And I'm still completely willing to love and accept myself. That's a good one. Even though sometimes I am worried about how I would show up, or what that would look like to have plenty of money to support my family, to build my company, to hire others, to work with me, have everything I need and then some. I'm still completely willing to love and accept myself. Well, that got it up to about an eight and a half. Let's go a little bit longer. So now I'm starting to feel like instead of continuing with that phrase, I'm going to shift gears into a little more positive perspective and acceptance so that I'm changing the brain pattern in my brain and in my DNA concepts of beliefs and all of that into a more supportive and positive place. So I'm going to say some positives and see how I feel about that. Acceptance of money and prosperity and abundance in my life is my birthright. I deserve to have all I need and more. 
I know that when I have more, I'm able to do more things to support and help causes that I love and believe in. Even though I know that these causes and people that I would hire, once I have lots and lots of money, are beneficial to the world and to individuals. I'm completely willing to love and accept that I am worth all that and more. Even though I'm aware that abundance is for everyone. I completely love and accept myself. I am choosing now to embody, embrace, accept, allow prosperity, abundance, security, stability, comfort, peace of mind, financially, and in self-worth, Abundance and prosperity is my birthright. I love and accept myself as abundance, as prosperity, and as my birthright to have all that I need and more. I completely love and accept and embrace and embody abundance and prosperity on all levels in my life now and building from this point more and more every single moment of every day. So now when I think about Prosperity, abundance, stability, security, having all that I need and more, accepting all of my good. I feel into that and I'm at least a nine and a half. Yeah. So I urge you to continue doing this, even if you have to go back and start from the beginning and keep going until you get your number up at a place where you feel comfortable. If you're starting somewhere around a two or a three, don't necessarily plan on getting to a nine or a 10, but it's okay if that happens. Sometimes all, all we need is that little push and we can get ourselves to the next place. So if you start off like I did somewhere right in the middle, you might be able to get up there a little more easily and a little more comfortable, but at the same time, sometimes the last half is the hardest part. So don't beat yourself up. If it doesn't show up the way you're hoping for it to show up and at the same time, anticipate the best and continue doing this every day. If you're not quite reaching that number, and then sometimes we have to check in with ourselves, sometimes depending on the day or the people that we're spending time with or where we are in the world or where we are in our lives can bring about a different type of energy or different type of vibration around accepting abundance and prosperity. So definitely come back to this anytime you need it. I love you. And I'm so grateful that you joined me today on Tuesdays with Tara. And I look forward to seeing you again next week. Have a blessed and beautiful day.